Hi guys, sorry, my phone rang. Sorry for the abrupt end. I have it turned to silent. I have it on airplane mode. But if it tries to ring, it turns the video off. So, sorry about that. Oh, come on. Come on, I go. This stuff is really staticky. Okay, now while this is drying, I want to show you the glassine bag project with Genevieve Designs. This was the first journal I ever made. It was so overwhelming, so overwhelming. But once you stick with it and watch a lot of her videos and get on her Facebook page and everything, it's really neat. So you print off the actual templates and so you're able to just copy these onto your own paper. Um, and then if you want to, you can make templates that you, um, an extra one that you put in here, and then you can just pop it out and trace onto stuff. Oh, I've got cramp in my hand all of a sudden. And I have extra ephemera. I forgot. And I think it might, some of it might work with this baby journal I'm doing. I remember when I printed this off, these are the little glassine bags. Aren't they cute? I think I'm going to keep these out because I think I have a use for them. This is a half page, oops, half page pocket. Mm -hmm. Journaling card. Oh, it says here main base page. So it must be the, I must have been making templates. And this is a, what is this? Hmm. Oh, okay, now I get it. This is an envelope. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, a pocket. I might use these. Okay, but I get sidetracked. Sorry. Let's put this stuff away because I think I have a glassine bag in here. I remember what happened. When I printed these off, it was a little pink. And I didn't care for the fact that it was a little pink. So... I didn't use them. So that's why I have so many extra. These are more pockets. These are more pockets. An ephemera. Mm, not sure what that is. And these are all printed off on like 110 card stock. So I saved them because that stuff's expensive. I was really hoping to have another glassing bag in here. Let me see if I do. Not sure what that is. Tons of ephemera. This was a really fun project. This was the spine cover. Okay, there's a glassine bag I might could use. Here's another one. They're kind of pink even. That one's in card. Is that a bag? I think it is. It looks like it didn't print right. Did it? Nope, it didn't print right. Well, let's see if I can use it. Hmm, this one didn't either. Looks like it might have got caught in my printer. But it's on heavy cardstock, so I saved the cardstock, apparently. But you need 
eight pages if you're going to use the insert for the interior spine. So let me see if I can make eight pages out of this. We might use that. That's a better one, I think. Tons O pockets. Shoot, I'm looking for, there it is. This is what I was looking for. Okay. So I may be able to use these. Definitely going to be able to use these. Still haven't totally committed to this glassing bag um, design, even though I love it. Jennifer, thank you for all the hard work you did, clearly, to put it together. I mean, it's obvious that it took a lot of work. It's so detailed and perf all the bugs are perfected and and she really goes out of her way. I think I printed off another project and then I got sidetracked on something else. I should look and see where that's at. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is the spine. Let's just see how good Carol's memory is, folks. Let's just see. <laughs> I, don't, I can't use those. It makes my hand hurt. Oh, here's some medium ones. Let me see if I can use those. Okay. So this, you make your tabs out of. I'll show you. It just, parts of it, you fold this accordion it. Um, some parts are sticky and some aren't. That was my husband just a second ago. He's running over. He's taking care of the yard somewhere else. So he's out of here. Turning water on, turning water off, moving the sprinklers. We just went outside. We have a little garden, a little garden, and I mean little. It's uh, you know we have like six tomato plants, one cucumber plant, two tomatilla plants. Basically, what you need to make spaghetti sauce or salsa. That was my goal. We've already dug up our garlic. Oh, did it turn out great? Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. How did she do this? I have my scoring board. I thought I packed it because we're getting ready to move, but I do have it. I'm going to grab it. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. was under some stuff and everything fell behind the shelf. So guess what I get to do later. All right, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I'm gonna say all four of these are scored. That's what I'm saying right now. Could be wrong. I'm going purely off memory, so. I've learned it's better to make more passes with less pressure Okay, we're going to call that. 
I just forgot what to do with this. We'll have to see if it comes to me when I get closer. I can't remember what this one was for. Hmm. Okay. Now, we have to train these, so you need to bend them over both ways. I'm probably going to have to stop this video at some point down the road and go watch the glassy and bag video because it's... I can't remember parts of it, and it's pretty important. The system to attach these pages is pretty neat. I really like it. There's no sewing in the signatures. Okay, then we have this one. And that one. So you have one, two, one more. You want them to be able to go either way. You want them to be able to so this goes down, this goes up, right? That goes down, this goes up. Oh, that's not right. I want to make sure and remember it before I uh, put tape. I want to use double-sided tape. I want to make sure that I remember where how to do it before I put on the double-sided tape. One, two. I might be doing it backwards, so that's what I'm trying to figure out now. We may need to move on to something else. I really thought I had it in my brain. And the baby journal that I made when I learned how to do this, I gave away, so I don't have a model to go by. No, nope, you're only gonna get two, Carol. You're only gonna get two, no matter how you do it. My brain almost remembers each one of these is a valley, or I mean a mountain. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Now I'm crazy thinking. Darn it, I thought I had it in my brain. Okay, let's move on. So, I'm going to put the glassing bag project away for now. And I'm going to go back and watch a video and get my brain better acquainted. And as soon as I see it, I'm going to go, oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the way it is? So, now I've got to do, this is the wrong folder. I'm using these two papers so far. I'm using... Monique Digital Art from Etsy, and she has all these adorable little elephants and giraffe and a hippo. And then I'm going with a boho theme, and so I'm, I've printed off papers from Janie B. Journals. And they, so far, they're just perfect. Thank you, Jane 
before letting me know about your site. They've got a little pink polka dot. They're just they're just perfect. The whole both of them together, I think, are great. So I need to decide the inside. And I'm kind of thinking this on the inside. Let's see. Where you at? This is our tie, our closure. So I'll cut this into two pieces and then I'll have a separate fabric or piece or something to go right down the center. But I was thinking on the inside, that might be nice. And then we could do something a little softer for pockets. You know, like that, maybe. Only maybe like that. So it would be like so. Because there's room for a little giraffe or... I really think that's going to be it. I think that's it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's it. So let's do it. Let's turn. Come here. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Let's cut it in half. Actually, I know this is a lot less than half, and I don't want to waste the paper this time. So there's one, two. So let me mark that with a pencil. Some of you, as some of you know, I, uh, do I want it to be edge? Let's look. No. Hmm. So am I going to distress that inside edge? I better, huh? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I better. Let's do it. I've already, uh, gessoed the inside. So... I'm using worn lipstick, a little bit of, oh, sorry, ow, that hurt. A little bit of um, wild honey and then fossilized amber. And the fossilized amber is just, is, oh, it's awesome. Awesome. I think I'm losing my light outside. Seems a little duller than it was. Let's see, let's do the pink. We're going to cover that middle part, so won't matter. Hmm. I'm wondering if I need to gesso any more of it. I love the way gesso makes things feel. I know that's going to be covered. And let's just see. Let's see what the paper looks like against it. It's okay. Like down here, it's okay. It's not the same. What is the difference? Is it the gesso? Hmm, let's try. Put it in some antique linen. Yeah, 
that's what it, it the antique linen just took the edge off everything I forgot that's what I did before one thing about making videos of your work is you can always go back <laughs> what did I do how did I do that okay I think I like that all right let's see yeah okay Jeez, that was hard. Let's get the right top on the right one. Okay, so I want to come in a little bit, just like I did before, but not, not maybe much. So we're talking about right, well, nope, oh, right there. Then, I think the blade on this is getting just a little worn because it, it actually caught my paper, unfortunately. <laughs> And I was cutting something just a little while ago and gathered it up. It just made me sick, but it did. That's what happened. Okay. I have a Fiskars Precision print um, cutter. Oh, they're a little spendy, but oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Okay, let's see if I'm close. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, it's distress. I love these little pink arrows. Oh, no, round the corners, Carol, round the corners. Might as well do them both so I don't forget. I have done that before. One thing on one side and one thing on the other. I think I mentioned this the other day. I was watching somebody distress the edges of their work. Oh my God, I'm surprised the paper held up. She was just, <laughs> it's like, oh. Are you, a little, are you a little testy? Settle down. Shouldn't be that much work. Okay, and then I have been putting a little pink on there. So far, I like that look. Just every so often, a hint. Where to go on? I think I've got enough actually on here. Oh, I wish I could remember how to use that template. It's not coming to me like I was hoping. I know it's all in the fold. I can't remember. Can't remember, but when I get it, if I decide to do that, if when I get it, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, of course that works. If you haven't seen it. It's a little bit like magic if you haven't seen it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in and then my paper here will go over them. 
Make sense? Seems like I'm forgetting something, but I hope not. But because it's cardboard, I'm going to go ahead and use Fabri-Tac. Because I'm thinking it will sink into the low spots. I don't think there's a right or wrong up or down to this, so we're going to just do this. I want to go ahead and put it kind of close to the edge because we're going to cover it up anyway. Right? That's good. Now this one, did I get both colors? Yep, yes, no, did I? I don't see pink on there. Oh yeah, I do. Come on, Fabri-Tac, you can do it. I gotta get some glue ordered. I was watching Martha Manigros on her channel remind everybody to get your glue order because in certain areas they don't ship when it's so much degrees cold. I'm like, oh, geez. I remember last year I did have a problem getting some kind of glue. I can't remember what it was. Okay. I want to go kind of close. Now, what do we want for this strip right there? On the back, I have just a neutral background and then and then the other color. So I have a drink. Time for a drink. I keep so much stuff in my craft room. I keep Gatorade, this morning's leftover coffee, a Diet Coke. <laughs> oh, this would be cute, wouldn't it? We need kind of a a width of it, though. You know. This would be adorable, too. Those are contenders. Let's look at both of those. I don't want to tear that up. I don't want note paper. Okay. It's, it's going to be covered up by the pages. You're just going to see the edges, but I want it to be cute. Ooh, that's busy. Might be a little too busy. What about that? I like that. Matches the back. Okay, so how much do we want? We want about... So our paper ends there. We're gonna have a spun right there. Where's my pen? Pencil? Anybody? Okay, so I say let's do about right here. Oh, let's not make it that big. Let's go right there.
I'm excited to get to this file full stuffed loaded altered file folder. I guess that's what we'll call it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited to do it. It's just going to be a ball. Ugh. There's a little bit of white here I want to cover up. Cut off, I mean. Pretty paper, such pretty paper. Let's see if it's too big. Gotta cover this plastic. So that doesn't look like it's gonna do it. Hmm. I don't think we'll get anything to um, hide it that doesn't kind of look like you're trying to hide it. So. I'd rather cut it off now. Well, it's, I didn't really get glue way up here, so it's pretty easy to cut off. Okay, let's, let's stress it out. I was gonna look in my, I have some antique music paper and I was gonna look and see if I had any baby rhyme, uh, like nursery rhyme for piano or any of that. I don't know if I do or not. I've got a cramp in my hand. Go away. You will see this, you'll see the edge of it, some of it. We're gonna have a pocket probably on the inside, so you're not gonna see a lot of it. But, so. Do not put it in upside down. Now, do we want gauze or something, or uh, lace or anything, do we? Do we or not? No. I don't know why I just felt like I needed to make a decision. So no, we're not. I was gonna put a doily under there, but. I really like the look of gauze, uh, gauze. Well, you can use gauze, but I use a cheesecloth under there. So it just pokes out around the edge. I'm trying to be careful not to make this too vintage. The mothers of this, this baby, it, they're very modern, right? Um, they're young. So... Trying to make sure that I'm not making it too old. I want it to be young and fun. And I want to kind of train the paper while it's pliable so if it shifts naturally when the pages are bent that it goes ahead and does that and I can see for some reason I'm missing some glue right there
Even if I change my mind and decide to sew a spine in, this will be good to have covered up the spine like this. Come on, I wonder if it's not sticking to that plastic. I used it before. Hmm. Mm, it's sticking, it's just taking longer. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave this bent. Where is our clip? I'm going to leave it bent and I'm just going to clip it like that and let it dry. And then I will come back and we'll decide whether we're going to do regular routine signatures that you sew in or if we're going to do Jennifer McGuire's. Go check out her video. Go see Martha's video that she made this morning about the file folder. Oh, I just broke my pen. All right, y'all. I'm going to call this a video. Let's take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>